Next up at UFC 294, we Say have the right. featured fight of the evening. We have Magomed and Kalaev. What would I say wrong? And former lock of the week winner. <laughs> you were, I mean, you you described every other minus as money. Lock of the week minus loser. Money. Lock of the week winner, Johnny Walker. At minus money. Magomed Ankalaev, 18 and 1 overall, 4 0 and 1 in his last five. He is coming off that draw. By the way, that was with Jan I, My luck of the week dropped on a Thursday or Friday, and I had to scramble and pick someone. So, And you said, let me pick a minus money guy. Taking on Johnny Walker, 21 and 7 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. He's riding a three fight win streak. Magomed Ankalaev, long, rangy kickboxer. He's going to use that range well. He does have some really nice kicks. Power in both of his hands and his feet. He is versatile in his attack style. He's got solid striking defense, but he can be low volume. If he gets into striking trouble, losing some of those exchanges, he will work in some wrestling. Uh, he averages about one takedown per 15 minutes. So not a ton, but it is there if he needs it. He has one single loss in his career and in the UFC, and that was his debut against Paul Craig where he literally was submitted with one second left to go after dominating. He's not the most exciting guy, but he could frankly be the best light heavyweight on the planet. He's coming off that draw, questionable on both sides, to Jan Blahovich, where he had two takedowns. The better striking statistics, but his leg was getting chewed up. Jan had some success there. Taking on Johnny Walker. This guy's big. He's athletic. He's 6'6". He's massive. He's fast. He's powerful. He'll take chances. He will spin. He's exciting. Very, very dangerous. All of those things. He did struggle for a little bit from 2021, early 2022, after he moved to the Conor McGregor's gym, that SPG Ireland gym. But he is currently riding a three-fight win streak, and he has looked fantastic. They seem to have done a good job controlling the chaos of Johnny Walker and you know letting him fight a little more technical. So he still does a little bit of crazy, but he's not so crazy that he's keeping himself exposed. The problem with that, and it's been working for him. He's looked great. His cardio looks great. He kept you his power. Great. Thank you so much. Somebody said I don't look as fat. So I think that was a compliment. Was Somebody it your said, wife? There, no, she doesn't say anything like that. No, it was somebody in the comment section was like... She's like, you're back from your walk already? <laughs> 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 Honey, it's a uh, nice day. You sure you... <laughs> you sure you don't want to go back out there? No, somebody said um, uh, in my Quick Picks video, looking a little slim, I guess you cut out the bread or something. I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. Anyway, it's like, no... I was just hunting all morning, so I'm just severely dehydrated. So, But I, I'll take it. Anyway, the problem is, yes, Johnny Walker has looked good lately. Yes, he's been less crazy, but still crazy enough to make stuff happen. He needs to be full crazy to win this fight. Because if he's going to try to be even a little bit technical, like he was against Anthony Smith, oh, wow. and Goliath's going to piece him up yeah, and light someone, him up. Someone listened to my breakdown. I have not watched your bullshit. This is in my notes. And I already did this in a video that comes out three days before mm -hmm. yours does. So if Johnny Walker comes forward and he's the crazy Johnny Walker that's going to spin and dance and jump and do all the nonsense, he absolutely could catch Ankalaev and win this fight. But if he's going to dance around, slow down as the fight goes on, be technical like he did with Anthony Smith, he's going to lose. He's going to get pieced apart. I think Ankalaev dominates this fight. I think minus 350 is potentially a discount. And uh, I think he's going to beat the winner of Pajeda and Jiri Prohashka and become the champion early next year. So Ankalaev is the pick. What do you think, Jakey Boy? It was kind of a wild little spiel there at the end. But I honestly think that Ankalaev is probably just a little bit overrated. And when it comes to this matchup, I'll be honest, four more lock of the week winner, Johnny Walker. He was the mm. underdog versus Anthony Smith, surprising to everyone, but I was smart enough to pick him as my lock of the week. Absolutely dominated that fight, and I was looking for reasons. I mean, I see Johnny Walker against somebody that just came off a draw, got their leg beat up, was getting hit, looked like they were getting tired in that fight, and it was five rounds, but, you know, I was looking for reasons to pick Johnny Walker in this matchup, and honestly, Angelo, I'm very impressed with your breakdown because that's exactly mm. how I saw it. And I said the exact same thing in my breakdown and the fact that if this was the Johnny Walker of old, mixed with a little bit of the Johnny Walker with new, I think he is very, very, very live because he does have that power. I mean, everyone at 205 kind of has power, but he has had that crazy, wild power. 
But as you mentioned, if he brings that same style against Anthony Smith, where he was just fucking standing right in front of Anthony Smith, and especially if he thinks he can bring that same style with the leg kicks, because I'm sure everyone's going to be like, oh my God, Jan lit up on Kalia's legs. Johnny Walker lit up Anthony Smith's legs. There it is. One plus one equals two. He's going to light up Ankalaev's legs, and he's going to win this fight. If he stands in front of Ankalaev and throws those naked leg kicks the way that he was throwing against Anthony Smith, he is going to get lit the fuck up. Ankalaev knows the game plan probably that's coming in for Johnny Walker, and the issue for Johnny Walker is he can get taken down. Ankalaev is not really a wrestler, but he can work in takedowns in control if he needs to. Ankalaev is the better technical striker in this matchup. I don't know if he's going to come in and absolutely smoke Johnny Walker. He is a guy that doesn't really look for finishes. The finishes kind of find him. He will just kind of be methodical in win decisions as well. It's not like he's 18-1 with 17 finishes, right? He's kind of half and half with, the finish, with, with finishes and decisions. So I think he comes in, finds the shots, does enough, lands some damage on Johnny Walker. I know Johnny Walker, people kind of trash his chin. That, that, that shot against um, uh, Jamal Hill was kind of a weird shot. It was more of like an equilibrium, top of the head, the temple, kind of one of those weird shots that, that knocked him out. That fight sucked, though. He did nothing in that fight. Okay. He deserved. Cool. Cool. But if you watch that Anthony Smith, I mean, Anthony Smith landed some pretty good shots on Johnny Walker, and his chin seemed to hold up pretty well. So I don't know if he's going to come in and smoke Johnny Walker, but I definitely think he can definitely do enough because I believe, in my mind, that, that Kavanaugh, they just have this guy in a box right now, and it's been working. But against Ankalaev, like you said, which I, I think I said it first, but you know, we'll get to that <laughs> okay. after the we'll, we'll t Hey, we'll talk about with HR after the stream. Sure. But um, you know, I just think that Kavanaugh might be uh, try to outsmart and get a little bit too weird in a game plan. And Johnny Walker, you got he's a peacock. You got to let him fly, baby. <laughs> That's how I see it, man. You got to let this guy fly. And if, I, if he just gets in the flow and starts turning back into Johnny Walker, it could be interesting. But if he just stands there the way that he was flat footed in front of Anthony Smith, it's not going to be good. <laughs> not going to be good. <laughs> Nope, I hear you. And it's three rounds, which I think three rounds benefits both of them, honestly. But right. um, we're both on the Ankalaev side. Uh, there is a path for Johnny Walker. Anybody as huge, athletic, and dangerous as him has a path to victory. I don't think I'm going to spend the $9,100 on Ankalaev, though. I think this probably goes to a decision. Ankalaev, as you mentioned, does have some finishes. But for the most part, he's his path to winning this fight is keep it technical. Stay technical. Touch Johnny when Johnny makes mistakes. And Johnny's not just going to fold and get knocked out and anything like that. I just don't see that happening. Not like that. So I think Ankalaev is going to win this fight. I think he probably wins a decision. I think minus 350, those are honestly decent odds. Um, I'm not the prop guy. I'm not typically the guy that's going to say, oh, Magomed Ankalaev by decision. Did you just burp in the microphone after saying that shit to me last week? And I didn't do it. And you actually did. I wasn't going to say anything. I was degenerate. Going, no, I was going to compliment you. Last week, I was like, oh, that was a pretty good one. But you were like, no, I would never do that. Well, I'm a grown-ass yeah, man, so yeah, I'm not disgusting. I'm not disgusting. Yeah, I'm not a grown-ass man. Yeah, I fucking do. I am a disgusting pervert. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to add sexual deviant. I am. I am. I am a sexual sinner. I would agree. <laughs> I, do, I do have safe words, Angelo. It's onomatopoeia. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. No, anyway. but I will say too, it's not a pre, it's not a premium play, um, but I did play. And I'm actually making sure that I did. I'm pretty sure I did. If not, I was thinking about it. And actually, I don't know if I actually did. Now that I'm looking at my bets right now, but Johnny Walker inside the distance decisional action. Uncle Live is tough though. Johnny Walker inside the distance decisional action is plus two seventy five. Uh, so is yeah, I mean. If nothing else, Uncle Ive did show a lot of toughness in that last. I mean, oh, he his leg was leg kicks. hamburger I mean, his, meat. Yeah, both of his going. legs were fucked. <laughs> yeah, and he just kept. And going. all of a sudden, it was like he couldn't walk, and all of a sudden, it's like, oh, he's good. He just like yeah. he's like all of a sudden he's like, oh, I'm Russian. It's like he's like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> well, so uh, both on the Ankle Ive side, I'm going to avoid DraftKings. I think it's a decision. I think it's 90 percent striking. I don't think he's going to score very well for DraftKings fantasy. But there are some bets to be had here. I do have him in a parlay. And if you want to see that, we want picks.com. 
click become a member. It is only $10 for an entire month. Sign up now. Cool. More ice, huh? More sexual frustration.